everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm on my way to Sephora. It's uh, about 103 miles away. It'll take me about two hours to get there. And uh, I can't wait. I decided to go up there. I only drive up there twice a year for the holiday savings event. I like to go up there and see what they get because sometimes they get different things in store as far as sets. So I'm pretty excited. I'm on my way. Um, and I can't wait to show you what I got. Okay, let's see. Okay guys, it's Jackie. I'm getting out of Sephora. This store is packed. Big bag. Woohoo! Right, so let me show you this first. In no particular order, um, I did pick up a second. I already showed you this. The Sephora Favorites Holiday Lip Kit. This was $45 and it had some full size item. I mean, the, the lip liner alone from Charlotte Tilbury is almost the price. Plus I really like the teal quilted bag. So got that real quick. I gotta make this quick. I bought so much, it's crazy. Oh, the Patrick Ta lip gloss, love that full size. Uh, here is the Rare Beauty, which I like. It's got a flat side, so it won't. These are all nudes, and that's what I like is nudes. That's why I got it. Um, here is the Tarte. There's the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, a Glossier gloss. This is a nice clear gloss with a tint of red. Uh, there's the small little Huda pencil and then a teeny, teeny little Pat McGrath sample, which I love her lipstick. So anyways, had to get another one because last year's sets were reds and I don't wear reds, although Taylor Swift is bringing them back in. Might have to try. I used to wear red, L'Oreal's drum beat red. If you know, you know, but anyways, happy to get another one of those. Next I picked up, this is the, um, the little, the Fenty Skin Little Butter Drops. These are mini body butters. And um, I really like her, Rachel. She is uh, that little cute nurse, I think is her website. Uh, I, she's a girl after my own heart. She spends too much money. She buys doubles of stuff. She doesn't remember what she bought. But anyways, these are really nice size. She bought these and absolutely, these smell so good. Uh, this one. Now that's a, I don't know what that one is. That is like kind of a light fruity scent. That one's not too bad, but there's one in here that smells like a cookie or something. Let's see. This one smells like mm, creme brulee, butterscotch, something like that. But these are generous minis for sure. So I think this set was $59. And so I had to get it because she loved it so much. Mmm, that smells like a vanilla sugar cookie. So anyways, I really... I really can't wait to try these, and um, I just love Rachel. She's my favorite. So anyways, that is the Fenty Little Butter Drops Body Butter uh, set. Um, I also bought before the sale the um, 
Hourglass palettes. I bought this online. This is actually the leopard palette in the special owl packaging. Let me just show it to you. These are $90, but if you sign up for Hourglass, I think it's 15% um, off if you've never placed an order. I love the white owl packaging. It actually reminds me of white owl cigars that my uncle used to smoke. So anyways, um, there is the leopard palette. So beautiful. And I really, this is my favorite one. I wasn't I thought I wanted the jellyfish until I saw the owl in store at Ulta. Um, so anyways, there's that. Here's jellyfish for the lighter skin tones. And uh, I've been stung by a jellyfish before, so I'm well acquainted with jellyfish. And I do love marine sea creatures. So this is for the fairest skin tones. And I do like this. But had I seen the leopard in person, I wouldn't have purchased this. I would have just got that one. But it's okay. Uh, there it is. And sorry, not sorry. Because what? it's a blush, highlighter, finishing powders, and bronzers all in one palette for 90 bucks. You can't beat it. It's basically six of the mini hourglasses. So happy to have that. And um, let's see what else we got. Oh, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Holiday Palette. I just call this the Barbie Palette. This is his face palette. It's all the Barbie pink shades. I really do love it. You've got two creams, uh, two powders, and then you've got your four of your eye toppers. Use these with a finger. I really, really like this palette. I thought that I didn't need it, but I'm so glad I got it. It's since sold out, and I am not sorry that I, I picked this up. I really do love it. Patrick Ta is quickly becoming one of my favorite brands of all time. So I'm so glad I picked that up. I didn't think I would like the pink, but I actually do. So with that being said, I picked up his Major Dimension 3 matte palette. These were $70. And actually the first one I got was broken. The black matte shade was shattered, made a big mess all over my hands, the box. Um, it wasn't wrapped at all. It was packed in there with heavy stuff. But anyways, uh, they sent me a replacement. Here it is, and it is actually very lovely. And I'm wearing it today. However, I don't think I'm an all matte palette girl. I like a shimmer, and I know ladies of a certain age like myself, I'm turning 60 on Thanksgiving Day, the 23rd. I can't even believe it, but I'm grateful to be here. Thank you, Jesus. Um, anyways, um, this is an amazing palette. I used today the black cream shade as a liner, and I gotta tell you, it is Priscilla Presley black. It's so black that it's almost too stark. So I thought, well, I'll put the powder over it, but I, I, I was just kind of done with it because I was making a mess. It's so pigmented, if you get it on you, it, you're gonna you're gonna be blending and blending and blending and trying to get it off. It's, it's, it's a little maybe, I don't wanna say too pigmented because I do like it, but, it's um, it's a little messy. So yeah, I'm glad I got it, but I think just use a tiny, tiny bit because it's so pigmented, this palette will last you forever. So great base or whatever, but again, I'm wearing it today and I don't think I'm an all matte girly. But anyways, it's it's lovely. Um, I got this other palette. This is uh, the Cali Ray Endless Sunset Palette. This was, uh, I think, uh, like a $48 palette. They had it on sale for 32 and then I get my Rouge discount. This is a really pretty natural all-in-one palette. Well, Kelly Ray is made by Wendy, who is the founder of Urban Decay. So Kelly Ray is really the new Urban Decay. But it's a nice like kind of bamboo packaging. And it's just great. It doesn't have a mirror because it's like a sustainable deal. Um, but really, really pretty, lovely colors. I saw this in store and decided to pick it up. So that's the Kelly Ray Endless sunset summer palette so pretty um yeah uh, just a gorgeous nude face god i got so much stuff I, I can't even believe how much i bought this is the house labs by lady gaga i bought quite a bit from her that i've been wanting to try i'm actually wearing her triclone foundation um and this is her bronzer so i got it in the lightest shade light level one okay so this is with the fermented arnica which i don't know what that is i i read about it and i forgot i think it's a skin uh blush I, I can't remember whatever um it's almost got like a rubberized it's got a uh, chrome orange packaging uh with a mirror and that is just so beautiful i like the house labs 
Again, up there with Patrick Todd, the Lady Gaga line is quickly becoming one of my favorite. This stuff is made in Italy for the most part, and I wanted a new bronzer, so I decided to try that. I was on the fence. I was going to get uh, maybe Pat McGrath's but, um, or Gucci, but I, I was like, no, I really want to try the Lady Gaga one. So got that. Um, the Tatcha Kiss You the um this is my favorite lip sleeping mask of all time i have so many laneige i actually bought the new glow recipe lip balm i've got um i mean any kind you can think of but this is it for me i'm gonna quit buying anything else this is the new amethyst color i want to see what it looks like it's literally the softest lip mask that i own so oh little spoon so it's got the little spoon here this is this year's color. Last year they had a red one. This year is the new Amethyst. I think these are like $29. Uh, I don't smell anything, but anyways, there it is. And I love it. And this is uh, better than, I like the fresh one second and the Laneige third, but Tatcha is my number one favorite lip sleeping mask. So this was their uh, flavor for this year. The plum, Let's see what else we got. Okay, so this is the Glow Recipe one. I've already taken it out and used it. Here it is. So the Plum Plump, it just reminds me, and it's cute. It's got a little notch in the packaging for a plum. There you go. But uh, it's super cute too, and I really, really like it, but it just reminds me of the Laneige, so it's not... It's pretty much very similar. Let's see what else I got. I accidentally bought a second one because I didn't remember if I already bought it or not. So when I went in the store, I accidentally bought two of those. And then I did buy the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I wasn't going to buy, but it's peppermint. And peppermint seems to be this season's... Like last year, everything was pumpkin spice. This year, everything's peppermint. I love peppermint. Mmm. Yeah, that's a nice, strong peppermint. So I'm not sorry that I bought this. I do love it, but it is my third favorite lip sleeping mask. And it comes with a little spatula too, a little plastic one. So yeah, happy to get that. So fun like Christmas. Um, oh, okay. Here's the Lady Gaga, the Triclone uh, medium coverage foundation. Now I bought this in store. I've been wanting to try it. It's an Allure Best of Beauty winner for 2023. And I had to go in store and shade match because you know their shades are backwards. Um, this should be a cool shade. It's actually a warm shade. I got the shade 130 light warm, which um, actually I'm a light cool, but I was able to go in store and try it. This bottle is to die for. This is the most luxurious heavy glass bottle. It's a generous size. I think it's like $45, but I just been hearing so much. I know it's not for oily skin, which I have. It's more for dry, but I thought, well, I can use my Super Goop matte screen underneath it because that's a very mattifying sunscreen that I use as a primer. So I'm trying, it is too glowy for me. I look like a grease ball by noon, but I'm trying to find ways to work with it because I like it so much. I don't want to return it. When I bought it, I pulled the cap off. The cap is Lux. It's very, very nice. It's got the HL on the top. When I pulled it up, it pulled the whole, I didn't realize it had a pump. I mean, the, the pump was loose. So when I pulled it up, it pulled up the whole dropper and I was like, oh my God, it's a dropper. I hate that. But the cat, I can't believe I didn't lose any product. So I quickly tightened it down. It does have a pump. Just one pump is all you need, which I do like that because it's it's perfectly measured. And I put the one pump over my matte sunscreen and I am wearing it today and I do like it very much. I'm just trying to find a way to make it be not so greasy. But that is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Medium. House Labs has the longest names of all their stuff. So I'm not gonna get into it. They all have fermented Arnica, whatever that is. This is like $45, but it's a generous bottle. I wanna say it's an ounce, pretty close to an ounce. I can't see, I don't know, but that is my shade and I do love it. And I'm gonna keep it, even though it's a little, I wish you'd come out with a matte version of it, then I'd really be psyched. But I'm gonna keep working with it because I think it'd be perfect for winter. Uh, there's no way I'll be able to wear this in the summer. It's I'm just, my makeup's going to slide right off. And I do 
finish with a powder. I wear the Chanel powder, but I get that over at Ulta. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh, the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge palette was the only other palette that I bought. I didn't get the Natasha Denona Xenon. I don't want a black and white palette. I don't care. I mean, that's what turned out with the Patrick Todd today. It's like a grayish, uh, you know, boring. I, you know, it's not my color scheme and everybody's coming out with the black and white, but I thought the Huda palette, and it's a lot like last year's Empowered, but a little cooler, but I wanted to get a palette and Pat didn't have one. Natasha, I didn't like that. I was like, oh my gosh, there's no palette to buy. But anyways, here's Pretty Grunge, and I think I'll like it because it's got a little bit more diversity, and it does have shimmers in it, and it does have some rosy tones, and it's got some black, which I, I do like a black in every palette. And like Patrick Tosh, uh, she's got like a cream black, and then the matte black, and then it's got some silver tones, some rosy tones, and some neutrals. So if I, um, I probably wouldn't have bought the Patrick Ta if it, hadn't have been out before the Huda because the Huda came out like right before the end of the sale. So I went ahead and got it. And um, I think this is probably my palette of the season. Okay. Because I, I didn't want Xenon and I really didn't want the, the all matte. So, um, and then Pat made me mad. So what are you going to do? What's a girl going to do? Eyeshadow palettes are out of style, I guess, whatever. Um, let's see what else I got. Um, oh, this is the Patrick Ta birthday gift. I've got a little um, lip gloss and a little, I thought it was a little mascara, but it's kind of like a brow freeze or something. But anyways, I was happy to, anything Patrick Tom I'm happy to try. I hope he comes out with a full line of products. And so that was my birthday gift from Sephora. Um, what is this? Oh, Vanilla Woods. This is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Wood Travel. Um, I had got a coupon for the... Um, the little uh, Sephora Favorites Best of Vanilla kit that was like $30 and you get the coupon for a free rollerball. So I picked out this one. This is a $32 rollerball, which makes, you know, you get the Sephora Favorites kit for free because then you get your rollerball. So I, I turned in my coupon and I got the Vanilla Wood. So happy to get that. Oh, this got sold out. This was the Makeup Forever, the five mini pencils sets. It's a $55 value. I forget how much it was. It was a limited edition pencil set. It was one of the first things to sell out at the Sephora sale. So I actually went to the Makeup Forever website because it's got your five most popular pencils. It's got like the walnut shade, a black, a white. Their most popular shades in a mini. This sold out right away. I had it in my cart. It was gone. So I went to the, and I placed my order right, but whatever, five in the morning, uh, things were gone. So I went to the Makeup Forever sale and I, I, was, I think it's sold out over there now, but I was able to get it quickly. So, you know, with Sephora, if something sells out, go over to the brand website because a lot of time you can get a similar discount just by signing up. And for people who are just VIB and only getting 10% off, you can get a better deal. So that's the Makeup Forever mini pencil set. Been wanting to try that. Um, oh, this blush I've been wanting. This is the Patrick Ta She's Wanted. No, she's amazing. No, she's wanted. <laughs> ah, she's a mess. <laughs> Anyways, this is the... I, I, I had this in my cart. Again, it's sold out. I let it go. I was like, forget it. I'll get it next time. This is their red because I used to have a Becca face palette that had a red blush shade in that I absolutely loved. So I wanted to get a red blush. This sold out at Sephora, but when I went up to the Sephora in store in Rogers, Arkansas, they had the display out. I got to see it and I was like, oh God, I've got to get that. So I quickly went over to Patrick Ta's website where I was able to get it. And this is the She's Wanted red blush duo and i'm so happy to have it this is a couple berry shades and it might look like too much but um you know all that's out is the pinks and i just really like a red blush and i love patrick ta so much and he's the only person even with oily skin i really love his cream stuff so i was so happy but i had to go to his website to get this because it was sold out in store. I can't believe, I mean, everybody shopped the sale this year. Um, it was, I've never seen nothing like it. And I don't know, 
I know the Sephora site kept crashing, but I think it was hacked. I don't know if it was crashing or people online, but I'd tell you the store was packed on the next to the last day. Um, oh, this was a point perk. I bought the Valentino. It's a, it's a little perfume I bought with a hundred points. Uh, let's see. Also another mini drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide cream. I love this cream and I love these hundred dollar point perks because you can get them and you can refill them and you can travel with them. So I like anything that you can travel with. Um, I got a little, uh, Sephora black eyeshadow because everything was 30% off and I just like to have a black. It's not very black though. It's more of a gray. I don't think I'll like that at all. And with those Patrick Ta and the Huda palettes, I don't need it now. But anyways, uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, I got a give by Gwen Stefani. Uh, again, uh, she's got really long names. This is a talc free blush duo and i got it i thought it was really lovely in store it's a, a purple shade it's only like 28 bucks feeling cheeky amplifying blush duo and it's in the shade honeymoon phase and let me just show it to you i'm not really crazy about much from gwen stefani it's all over at tj maxx anyways but i just thought this was a lovely oh if i can get it open a lovely lilac blush and um yeah, so pretty. I really, really like that. I didn't need it, but it was just a impulse purchase, and uh, I just love the color. So, yeah, I didn't need it. Whatever, I bought it. Um, let's see. I got a, oh, uh, Killian Paris. This is a rollerball of Angel Share perfume. This is $50. Really smells good. It's kind of like a boozy rum Apple um really really like it but I wasn't gonna buy I figured if I you know liked it I'd buy a big bottle off of eBay or something from a trusted seller um because that's what I do oh got this this is a super goop lip shade 100% mineral lip color in an SPF 30 and love you more so this is zinc oxide 17 and a half percent and I just think that's great I just wanted to try a lipstick mineral um love you more and i love super goop oh that's so pretty look at that that is gorgeous anyways i wanted an spf something to wear this summer um but you know anytime i just love because i wear their uh mat I, their matte screen daily so i wanted to try a super goop see what else we got just a bunch of things oh also by house labs the um Let's see, Triclone Skin Tech Concealer Corrector. Again, this is 21 light, medium, neutral. I hope it's more light than medium, but I've heard so much about her concealer that uh, I wanted to give it a try. Uh, it matches the, um, yeah, a nice glass bottle with the silver it's cap. A screw cap, it's not a lift up. Yeah, I can't wait to try that. That looks good. Oh, I can't get it back in the bottle. Boy, that is tight. Thought I got it on me. Well, that's a that's hard to get back in the bottle. Okay, um, yeah, her bottles are a little. I mean, the other one, the cap came off. Now this one, I can't get back in the bottle. All right, I'll try it. That sounds good. I've been wanting to, concealer is like my new thing. I bought more concealers this year than and blushes, concealer and blush, because I've really noticed that just having a good concealer takes like 10 years. It totally changes my appearance. Um, so I'm really into trying concealers. So let's see what else we got. Great. I got that concealer all over the damn box. Okay. I got to go wipe that off. Okay. Um, no, this is the bio radiant gel powder highlighter. This is in pink amethyst. I, golly, I've got that concealer all over the place. Well, it stays on pretty good cause I couldn't get it off the box. Um, I saw this in store last year and I kind of, since I only go up to Sephora twice a year because it's over a hundred miles, I take pictures of things that I want and then I put them in my cart and then I buy them a year later. So this is the highlighter, the pink amethyst and it's got like a, look at that. That packaging is so pretty. Look at this. Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Um, yeah, I can't wait to try that. So those, uh, let's see, the uh, the bronzer's thirty eight dollars, and um, the highlighter's forty. So the highlighter's a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. One more thing. Um, I bought 
the mini Natasha Denona mini, mini Starlet palette. These are $27. I bought mini Trio Chrome too. I don't know where it is. But I just thought this was really, really pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just a nice little pink nude travel palette. That is mini Starlet. And it's got a nice kind of bronzy packaging kind of. Okay, um, so here's mini Trio Chrome, and I do like blue eyeshadow, so I was happy to get it. I really like the Trio Chrome palette. I tried to find it on her website, and I don't know if it's been discontinued or what, but I couldn't find it because I was going to buy a backup of it. Maybe if she comes out with a bundle for Black Friday, which she does, but I don't know what Black... Uh, what Natasha's doing for Black Friday. But anyways, here is mini Trio Chrome. And I think it's really pretty. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no way I was gonna buy Xenon. So, wow, that was so much. I, I went ham, uh, which I didn't think I went ham, but I did go ham. Uh, I'm a shopaholic. It's okay. It's it it's it brings me joy. It really does. I mean, outside of my cats, this is it. Okay, the pharmacy, the Green Clean Tea Harvest Trio. I still have my box from last year that I didn't even crack into, but I love the sound of these scents, and I do use the Green Clean. I like the original Green Clean, and they had a cherry one maybe three or four years ago. That was my favorite, and they never brought it back. But I do like this. They have a, these are very lightly scented. You know, when you're cleaning your face, you don't want heavy, heavy scents. But, uh, so it's got a chai in here. Yeah, very, very light. It does smell like chai. Mm, that's good. I had to get it. I was like, Jackie, you haven't even used last year's set. But, um, yeah, I don't care. Um... This one's a raspberry tea, very faint. Mm. Yeah, very faint raspberry, but again, generous trios. So I like, you know, it's fun when you're washing your face and this will take all your makeup off. If you've got some stubborn stuff on and then the last one is a rose. And it smells a little rose chamomile it's the strongest of the three, and I like a fresh rose scent. So, um, yeah. So, anyways, there's that. Oh, my God. I don't have room for all this stuff on my table. Next, I picked up, I really like Living Proof, and I wanted to try this. This is the Living Proof Believe in Dry Shampoo Duo, and I really like their Frizz line. I use... Now, I rotate shampoos, but in the rotation, I have uh, the Frizz shampoo, Frizz conditioner, the styling cream, uh, the lotion. Uh, yeah, I like Living Proof. So, I wanted to try their dry shampoo because I've heard a lot of good things up about it. And this is a double pack, so I think it's for the price of one. So, I thought, okay, now's the time to try that Living Proof product. Uh, let's see. My Olaplex, again, that's in the rotation. I love Olaplex. This is my number five bond maintenance conditioner. This is $30. I also use the shampoo. I really like that. I, I like the Olaplex line as well as the Living Proof. So there are a couple that I rotate there. Um, and here, I love this. This is the uh, Living Proof Smooth Styling Cream. Really good. It's like a lotion. When I first uh, towel dry my hair, I'll pour some, this is a liquid, I pour it into my hand and just, you know, it's just great. My hair just absorbs it. It makes everything easy to comb out and really, really good living proof product. Um, okay, I think I've got my, my perfumes for last, so let's get in with that. Um, in store, while I was up at the, at the pavilion, I tried the, I always like to try different perfumes because that's the only place that I get to. So I tried some different Killian's and some different Tom Ford's. And I've heard a lot about Commodity and I actually had a sample of Commodity in one of these boxes. When I got up there, I was able to try it in person and I didn't, Commodity 
is a brand that they make three different versions of the scent. They make the scent, they make an expressive, and they make a bold. So three different versions of the scent, de depending on if you want a skin scent to smell, you want somebody else to smell it, or you really want to make a statement in a room. So I think that's kind of a cool concept. So I tried the Milk Expressive because that's what I'd heard so much about. I instantly fell in love with it. And then this is the Boulder version, uh, which is a spicier. So this kit was $75. So you're basically getting to try the travel spray of the other for free. So I picked that up because I tried it in store and I was like, this is going home with me. And then as the sale went on and I was wearing this, I was like, you know what? I'd like to have a big bottle of the original Expressive. So I went back, I think this is $145 for the 3.4 ounce, but this um, I smelled in store. I've heard, well, I've heard so much about it, so I wanted to try it in store, got a sample. Before I could even try the sample, I wound up buying the big one. So uh, anyways, I really, really have, and this, this set actually, in store it was the last one so and then it was it sold out um it's sold out now you can't get that but anyways you can get this um, this perfume has been in my cart for probably two years this is the dolce gabbana la imperatrice and i bought this gift set because it's like getting the rollerball for free and what's kept me from buying it for the longest time is they don't make an eau de parfum it's just an eau de toilette which is a weaker version, but I kept hearing so much about it when they came out with this. I thought, well, you know what? I can try it. If I don't like it, I can uh, keep the rollerball or, you know, sell this online or whatever. I wound up falling in love with it. It is a, it's a summer scent. It's like a watermelon fruity um, deliciousness. I just, and it did, even though it's an eau de toilette, it did last pretty long on me. And I like it so much, and I'm so glad I bought it. But it was like, I hate blind buying perfume. But I like perfume, uh, you know, more than anything, really. I mean, when there's no Pat McGrath or eyeshadow palettes to buy, I'm going perfume. <laughs> so anyways, Dolce Gabbana, La Imperatrice. It's a great summer watermelon. And I was always intrigued about it because I love watermelon. But I didn't know how I would feel about it in a perfume, but it's just great. It's just mm, delicious, and I'm so glad I bought it. But it took me a couple years to pull the trigger, but when this set came out, I had to get it. So um, next, wow, Dolce & Gabbana is killing it with the scents this year. This is Devotion. It's the ads with Katy Perry. It's like an orange vanilla. So you're going to smell like a dreamsicle, but it is so, so good. I love it so much. I went back again. I bought the big bottle because when I can get the discount, I'm going to buy perfume because that's your big savings is on the expensive perfumes. I love it so much. If you like Love Don't Be Shy, which is a vanilla marshmallow, this is like an orange Love Don't Be Shy. So, but I, you know, and so much less expensive, but I really, really it was love at first spray on this. Um, they also carry it Ulta. And uh, so last but not least, this is it. I, now, now don't fall over dead. I got Tom Ford Rose Prick. Now, I think this bottle is, I think it's $450. I don't even know. I didn't buy it at Sephora. What I did was I, I sprayed it up in the Sephora and then I bought it online from a reputable perfume uh, reseller, I guess. So this is, or he bought it for his wife and she didn't like it. So it was unwrapped, even though it was brand new, never been sprayed. Um, it wasn't in plastic anymore. This is Tom Ford's Rose Prick. It's in a beautiful frosted milk glass pink, uh, bottle. And this is the big 3.4 ounce. It's stupid expensive, but I really wanted it after I smelled it. And it's like fresh cut roses, there is a note of turmeric or something in it that some people don't like, and maybe that's what it was, but I, I love this. This is so good. I love Tom Ford's perfumes in general. Kind of like Killian. It's an acquired taste. But anyways, that is like fresh cut roses. Now, maybe you think that's an old lady, but there is the twist to it. Mmm, love that. Oh, so I got to say that the uh, perfumes one this year and just some really great perfume 
And uh, wow, that is, I don't even, I don't even know what I spent. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna find out when I get my bill real quick. But anyways, I'm happy with what I got and it's my birthday, my big 60 60th birthday, woo! Present to myself and it's my Christmas. So anyways, I spent what I spent and I'm not sorry because um, I didn't send, I'm not sending anything back. I'm keeping it all. And I'm going to find a way to make that house labs uh, foundation work. And I'm going to find a way to mattify my Patrick Ta matte palette because um, the creams are great. But uh, these hooded lids, it's, uh, it's transferring like crazy. So I'm having to keep blending it out, blending it out. That's not going to work. Anyways, okay, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Let me know what you picked up at the sale. And I hope you all have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you when I see you. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.